Hey you, it's Jess here. We're pla pre-planning for the current next week. What, what are the dates? <laughs> um, the 3rd through the 7th, I believe. The 7th? No, the 8th. <laughs> I didn't get a calendar out here, yo. Um, from the 3rd to the 9th, my gosh. Anyway, yes, so this week is um, Easter week, pretty sure, and also my partner Locke's birthday, so I'm using a birthday set, and this was January 2022 mystery, which was a very pretty neutral birthday um, set. So this is a slightly older format, but it still doesn't have any checklists, so I'll tell you about that in a second, what we're gonna do. Because if you've tuned into our, I mean, I'm so happy with that bottom wash. I definitely want to put that in, in a whole um, thing. Sorry, there's also more people. And then we also got some icons here, some presents and stuff. Um, so, it doesn't have any checklists, uh, but I have these old um, grab bags, which had old full box checklists in them. And I basically, I've got a few here. I think we could definitely use this brown. Um, I think this pink will be good. I'm just trying to pick out the ones that will work. Uh, actually, I don't think that one's going to work. Um, we could probably use this for the light pink. And maybe just do... Actually, the pink and the neutral of this, and then the brown of that, and then maybe the light pink of this will work out. But these are just um, what I had on hand from these grab bags to try and work out how we could do checklists for this. Obviously, um, the SBC kits, uh, except for mysteries, they come with additional add-ons for ombre heart checklists. So most of the time that'd be fine, but I just didn't have anything. <laughs> I probably actually have to order some on how to checklist kits now because um, it was very hard to find a kit for this pre-plan with me. I'm kind of out of kits for this format, but we'll see what we can do. I don't think I'm going to use that. I um, guess we could use these. Because we need those. So, I need the bottom washi. Um, yeah, so. Let's get started on trying to make this happen. Because <laughs> I don't know about making them happen. But we'll try and make a, a reasonable set out of this in the end. Um, yeah, so I guess I just need to go shopping or something. I think I'm just going to write the numbers in because I can. <laughs> it's going to be wild. I know people do it though. We always used to write them in. Actually, I never wrote them in myself. Um, so when I started planning in 2016, I actually started first with making my own kits and just hand cutting them with a roller and X-Acto knife. And then uh, after a while, that got really annoying. So I did get a silhouette, and I do miss my silhouette. She was perfect. I never had any issues with her, but rest in peace. I think my, I guess she's technically my stepsister. I've never met her, though. <laughs> technically, my stepsister has it, I'm pretty sure. Because she, when I moved, I gave it to my mom, and she gave it to her for her wedding crafts when she was getting married. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, I miss my silhouette, but, um, even then, afterwards, I always made matching, um, I always, always made matching tape covers, even for the old kid styles from SBC and whatnot, which didn't come with date covers back in the day. I don't know, I just preferred date covers. I think that was because back then, the Erin Condren was like completely colorful and even the dates, the words at the top for the dates were all colorful too. And I didn't, I liked, um, I didn't care too, I, you know, I matched a little bit to the Aaron Condren colors, but not a lot, you know? 
I don't know if I should change this to make the, I don't have any matching color for this one. So I'm gonna switch this up for the dark brown to be twice um, in the color spread because um, I have two brown checklists that I can use. Whereas I don't have any that match the other one. So I think that will be better. We'll save that one. So, okay. We got to list the brown for sure, right? I can find it first. <laughs> Here we go. So, these are pretty old kids too. It's been a while since she had ombre hat checklists in the kids. But it's good to have the add-on option now. I realize I just have, I only need to do the two from one sheet. So I didn't have to bring out all these sheets, but that's okay. So that pretty much works. Now I think this dark pink and the same sheet will work for this. Um, and now, um, we use that pink or we have I think this pink looks a bit better for this match. And then we'll use a super, super light pink for the, well, I guess beige. <laughs> I think that works, all right. I think that goes well. <laughs> if you ever got one of these grab bags and you have them lying around, you know, it works out well. But uh, yeah, now I'm thinking like maybe I should have bought an Easter set or something, but from either shop, SBC or Crest Press, where I usually shop, but no matter. Heidi just hit a uh, toy that's very loud. Typical Heidi. All right, so we got to, I think those look good actually. They look pretty close, like it. That's pretty awesome. I'm glad I kept this stash. All right, so full boxes. Um, let's put the cake. Uh, yeah, or we could put the gifts. Which would be better in the sidebar, the gifts or the cake? I think we're gonna put the cake on Lux's birthday on the Thursday. And we'll put the gifts up in this corner here. And then we have two double boxes, so let's put them in. So we've got this sort of party spread here, and then we have the dining table, which I think is a fun um, concept to have. It's been fun to play around with like down, like flat lay scenes. So now I think we're gonna put our outfit over here. And I really like this box, so I definitely want to include it. We'll put you over there. Let's just finish putting in our um, glitter header, glitter headers. I keep saying glitter header covers, but <laughs> that was that's an old habit of mine. I don't know why. We'll finish putting these in, and then we can work on the sidebar. I think this has turned out really cute. I think these um, checklists worked out. I realize I have it on automatic focus. Let's switch to manual so it doesn't go in and out. So I apologize if it's been blurry. I always try and remember to put it on manual. All right. So now we can do it the... Um, Let's switch this again, <laughs> make sure the camera's all good. All right. <clears throat> so we want the presents at the top. Um, okay, what do we want to do? Let's put a checklist in the sidebar. That's actually pretty close when you look at it like that. Like this is a bit more neutral, but that's nice. I realize for this one, I always start with, um, start at the top and then work my way down. Now, yes, they still do have, I, do they still have habit trackers anymore? I can't remember. I haven't looked for habit trackers in the new format. 
but I know those movie markies are the same ones. Um, we oh we have headers in here too. Let's put a to do. That's fun. Ah, oh, that feels like I haven't done it in so long. I'm going wonky now, but that's okay. We can go wonky, it's fine. Should we put a box in here? We could probably fit a little one. Oh yeah, this format doesn't have those like little boxes. Oh, it does actually in the mystery. Let's put a brown one. So that's nice. And then I think one more glitter head of left and we'll have plenty of room, but not too crazy for our <clears throat> full box. I know it's super wonky, so I apologize if that annoys you, but it, I know, I think it works. I think it works. <laughs> so now I have the base down, so we don't need that sheet anymore. I didn't include any people in that. I feel like these actually look a bit more teen-like, <laughs> which is funny. We have some bo boxes we can use on that. We have a deco, icons and things. All right, okay, so we just need to get rid of those. So habit tracker, we're gonna go brush Heidi again. We've done her second lot of um, ultra moisturizing blobs, like medication on her skin. Um, and I think she is doing better. I haven't really seen her pull her fur out. Though we did rewash those things that she likes to lie on. And she has her new biscuits now. And I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's. I've been brushing her every day as well. I feel like that's helping. Um, she is having a lot less dandruff, so something is happening. I think something's working, so <laughs> that'll be good. It'd just be good for her to not pull her fur out anymore, you know? Then we have to-dos. Yeah, I'm gonna fill out my to-dos. These are like, could happen anytime during the week. All right, I just got a few things in here. Um, I need to finish up the custom. It's almost done, but I think Monday is gonna, I need to finish it on Monday, actually. I don't think I'll get it finished tonight. Um, the, it's Sunday tonight, by the way. <laughs> um, then I need to get my next shop set finished. It's called Lemonade. I wanna draw it and release it this week. Then I wanna plan out my fashion packs that I plan to do. And then I wanna dye my hair because I have the dye. I just need to dye my hair again. And then, yeah, I think that's it. I've left, I got one more left, which is nice. And then I'm just gonna put it in the sidebar box about the Yay. All right, so let's get started on Monday. Um, do I wanna put in a coffee Monday? There's a little coffee cup, it doesn't match, but I know. It's very small, but I don't know. Uh, but we, we could put our videos in first. Let's put our videos in first. We've got this video for the pre-plan with me. We have um, the plan with me for last week up on Wednesday. And then on Friday we have, um, what am I doing? Yes, on Friday. <laughs> I'm looking at last week's plans, I don't know why, but put that away. Um, Friday, we have, what was it, April monthly. That's it. So, let's see if we have any month. Uh, this would be good. None of these other work. Gosh. I'm just going to put these in. And so, hopefully by the end of today on Sunday, I'll have... These two plan with me is done, and well, we're doing one of them right now. And then I already have my April monthly done, so that'll be great. I think this month I'm gonna do um, every second week will be a pre plan with me because I'm out of kids for now, and also I have a lot of other videos I want to put up. But um, I pretty much have the whole month planned, which is awesome. So the first thing we really have to do, we have to finish this custom on a Monday, I'm gonna get it done and dusted. All I have left are 
um, a couple of the scenes and all the people and the papers left. So if I do all the scenes and maybe a person to name, then I will just have some people and um, and papers to do tomorrow. So that'll be good. Just put in finish set and send files to Andrea. Um, what else are we doing on Monday? Oh, duh. there's a big thing happening on Monday. Um, so I want to do that during the day because that evening I should have a package delivery from my US, which is my mail forwarder. Something in mail here. Uh, I'm just going to use more deco. Well, it's a bit too big. How about we just use this little gift bag? happy birthday but um yeah so it was supposed to be delivered on friday it didn't quite make it through customs on friday so it will definitely be de delivered on monday because it has been successfully cleared so the other things i'll be doing on monday is filming those videos related to that delivery so a sticker hole a combined wax hole and Another Andrea D stash. This is probably the last one. I don't know. <laughs> Surely she has nothing more to D stash. <laughs> I'm just saying. But uh, I think she D stash like this is the second half of that last D stash that she sent me. She put it across two boxes. Um, yeah. So that'll be filming the last one of those. So plenty of stuff to film that day. So Monday is pretty full. <laughs> so Tuesday. Um. There's not much going on. I think I'm going to put in that I have, you know, we're going to do work again. We need to get going on the next set. Lemonade. Um, and then I don't think there's much else going on on Tuesday. No. So I'm going to put a half box in here, which can, I can fill in later if whatever happens. I'll probably bid YouTube or something like that. But let's start with the work stuff. I just have to start with the elements first for work. Um, okay, Wednesday we actually have, I think, big door prizes on Wednesday, sure. Um, and so, and Schmigadoon comes out too. So I'm going to put these on. Uh, but yeah, there's a new show out on Apple called The Big Door Prize, and it's really good so far. So I'm looking forward to more of that. I think three episodes have come out, so this will be the fourth. And also, how could I forget about Ted Lasso? Oh my god, all three of these shows are Apple TV. Can you believe that? Apple TV. All of them. It's like all we watch now. <laughs> Other than Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. My gosh, they're just killing it lately. Just killing it with these shows. Cool. <laughs> it's a lot of shows in there. Let's get a patterned one in for whatever else we can fit in for that day. Um, oh, it's work. So let's do work. <laughs> we need to do work before all that stuff happens. Let's do a little clock because it matches. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we got a lot of TV, but we also got work. Um, so work we're going to do, I usually, it's hard to get elements all done in one day now. So I'll go finish elements and start on scenes, which usually takes two days as well. Um, what else do I do? I could do a dry load on Tuesday, dry load of washing and maybe Wednesday. And then maybe we could also wash some clothes as well afterwards. Because we just hang those up to dry. All right. So Thursday, again, we're going to be doing worky work. We're going to work all this week to get this done, but it will be very, it'll feel very good. And I think love. Might be the office, but might not. But I still need to get that work done. Either I'll do it. Um, in the night or during the day doesn't matter but I want to finish up the scenes I don't think that I don't think this set scenes are too complicated so that should be all right 
Um, I want to get it up on Friday, but I think at this point, because of the custom, it's going to be maybe Friday or Saturday. Maybe Saturday will be the new release. So I'll put it there. Uh, I don't want to, like, pressure myself at the moment. I'm just being loosey-goosey, just living week by week and how I'm getting things done. We'll get all the scenes finished and also... Actually, I could probably finish... Okay, yeah. Because one of the people is technically a scene as well. They're just not, they're not just a cut-out fashion person, they're in the seat. So we'll get that done that day, so we'll have at least one person done. So if we do the people, papers and glitters on Friday, we can actually still get it out during the day. So I think that might be it. I'm just going to quickly plan this art stuff out. Because glitters take no time at all. I could probably get a glitter done pretty soon here, actually. Uh, but we'll put work in again on Friday. Um, and then we'll start a little bit of a holiday time because then uh, Friday's actually Good Friday. So work will have that off. But if I get that done, then I can enjoy my weekend without thinking about anything else except maybe my fashion packs. So we'll plan that out. Um, so what else will we do on Friday? I'm not sure. But, so I might just put in a half box again. On Thursday, sorry. Did I say Friday? On oh, Thursday. And then Friday will be like chill. So maybe we'll just put in this. We'll hang out on oh, Thursday. Well, we should have like a after work or before it, we can do some hanging out. We'll do this. Um, I just put like with my love or whatever. Because it is their birthday. Duh. You're like, Jess, come on. <laughs> put the birthday in. Alright, work. And then hopefully you get it all done. So let's put um, the set as this as new release. Because might as well. Alright, because at least um, by Friday night it'll be fine. Um, Time-wise. So, right, so new release, we can still get it done on Friday. Just gotta hustle. And then, like, the scenes might not take me as long on Thursday, so... But I don't want to do too much on Thursday, you know? Because we're gonna spoil luck. Then, Saturday, we actually have two movies that we're watching on Saturday. Um, I'm doing a double feature. And it's pretty much completely off of the prompt. So the prompt for our movie challenge this week was um, your friend's least favorite or favorite film. And so we're like, we did, we're did. we going to do two because we're going to do one each to each other. Um, and we've already seen all of our each other's favorite films. Because <laughs> you do that when you've been together for so long. But um, so we're like, let's do least favorites that the other person hasn't seen. Usually while we were traveling, traveling s separate. So mine was Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, yeah, because I watched it on a plate and I was like, oh dear. I would just say from that same time period, if you're interested in a biopic about a musician, you should check out Rocket Man. It was far superior. But um, yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody, even though that won the Oscar. And then Lux was going to be Neon Demon. But then we're like, do we really want to watch two terrible films on Lux's birthday weekend? But we didn't have favorite films. So what we did was we actually just went to, I think, IMDb. And we looked up, like, the highest rated films of all time. And we just chose two from the list, starting from the top, going down, uh, for ones we haven't seen. So we're going to see The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And we're also going to watch... Um, I'm just watching a man speed walking on ice out there. Anyway, <laughs> out the window. Uh, and we're going to watch uh, Schindler's List. So that'll be interesting. And obviously they're rated very highly. So I'm interested to see how they will go. Um, I know Schindler's List has its issues, but it'll be interesting to see like it as a film rather than it as a um, indication of the Holocaust or whatever, but I don't really know much else about the film. 
other than um, what was in Seinfeld. My gosh. But yeah, I know it'd be more of the histor historical background around it and the opinion, cha different opinions about it. So it'll be interesting to actually see the film in retrospect. So I don't think I have much else on going on on Saturday. We're not going to be working. We're going to give ourselves the weekend. Um, let's just do like lazy, lazy day. I'll put the little thing in there for whatever we get up to. I'll just put double feature because that's what we're doing. Probably spend most of the day <laughs> watching these two films because I think they're both pretty long. But yeah. So Saturday, Sunday. I do want to get in that we need to wash the bedding. Um, uh, yeah. So I'll just put that with some more of this, maybe. Um, or maybe one of these icons. <laughs> I'll use this to mark wash the bedding. Um, and then I'll probably do a big box for filming because, you know, I'm going to be filming some more stuff on sun, like my plan with me and stuff. Let's move this. Let's separate this shall we and we'll put a little thing in here for whatever uh, but this will be filming so let's just use one of these they're pretty big now and i don't have too many to do's i want to put in on the weekend i just want to see how it goes and how we, what we feel like doing um because you know it's going to be a nice chill weekend but that is pretty much the whole um week all planned out so let's open her up and have a look i think it looks really good i think you can barely tell with these um ombre hard checklists which is pretty awesome so i was able to get matching ones out of that one um pile but remember we're also going to do some of the stuff that's in here so plan the fashion packs dye my hair so we have other things to do during the week but and obviously cleaning we'll, we'll be cleaning the bathroom and the kitchen and whatnot um but i think this will be good we'll get some work done we'll celebrate Locke's birthday we'll watch a bunch of movies a bunch of tv as well so that'll be really great but that is the coming week let me know down below what you thought um what are you getting up to this week anything special <laughs> also it's easter so if you're celebrating i hope you have a wonderful weekend um yeah otherwise i hope you have a wonderful week and i'll see you next time bye bye i love you bye bye